fish species that we target just after sardine season, which will be coming up very shortly, is blue rays. We seem to get a lot of blue rays in KZN just after the sardines. That will be July, August and into September, October and then they obviously disappear. Most of them are pregnant females. To target that fish species, it's very simple, use sardine. To make the trace, I'm just basically going to run through it. Latex cotton, 7 or 8 ring sui, our Kingfisher power swivel, 6 ounce, 7 ounce sinker, depending on what your rod actually throws. Preferably a cone, because you need it to move a bit. Chuck a hammer for the bait that I'm going to do. You want your bait to sit flat on the bottom. Uh, blue rays aren't like brown skates that um, chase fish down. They are very lethargic and swim along the bottom. So fluorocarbon uh, hook snoot to keep your bait down, very important I find. And it also stops any surge in the water as well. Sinker snooting, 22 kilo, more than enough. So let's just make the trace quickly, simply. Grab a bit of our nylon. You can find where the end of this one is. There we go. All we're going to do is attach uh, the nylon to the sinker trace, figure of eight. There we go. A little lubrication and we just slide that down onto it. Our power combo swivel. Five and six, in other words, it will be a size five there and a size six uh, swivel. We're going to attach our sinker to the size six, which is the smaller one of the two. And again, we're just going to use about 50 centimeters, half a meter of nylon. And we're going to do a figure of eight to it. Just cut off the tag in quickly. And the tag end on this side. Pull tight, just make sure nothing's gonna come loose. So that's about 50 centimeters in length. Our hook snoot is gonna be about 40. Grab our fluorocarbon. like to keep it all neat and tidy so I'll just stick that back there. This is 22 kilo fluorocarbon if you pull it it actually sits nice and straight. Grab our 8 -o. You can use an 8 or a 7 -o. it's up to you. That's our ringed soy. That's our mustard ringed soy. Put your fingers in there. It stops you from getting hooked up. And again, we're just doing a figure of eight. Lubricate, slide down, but don't pull it completely tight. Just a little trick. Take the end of your actual, uh, your tag end of your hook um, snoot, and you stick it in behind the eye of the actual hook and just grab it so and pull tight like that if you can see what I've just done I've just basically taken the tag in put it in underneath the eye like that now what it is is a basically a wishbone that we've created I'm just going to cut it down and show you trim both sides down a bit so basically you end up with that kind of a configuration. What that does is once your bait is on, and it's a soft bait that I'm making for the Blu-ray, 
it stops it from moving around inside the actual bait. Okay, very simple. Easiest way to do it is just to measure on your trace where you want it to be. So I need to cut it about there. And this is going to be a bait that I'm going to clip. Okay, so we're just now going to take it, stick it onto the bottom end of our actual swivel, and we're making our figure of eight. There we go. Open it up. There's your figure of eight. A bit of lubrication. Slide down. And all I'm going to do now is just pull tight. Cut off the tag end. And that should be perfect. There we go. Because that's now going to hook on there when I actually throw it. If I can get it. Okay, so that's basically my sinker with the trace. That's the trace length. That's 500, that's 400, 8 toe hook. Now to do the bait, what I'm going to do, and I've broken my board unfortunately, is the hook, chocker hammer, and a sharp knife. Just grab a soddy. Oh, lovely big juicy Natal sardine. Chop it off straight behind the head. Like that. Belly holds all the smell and the flavor in, so Let's take that away. So basically that's the belly shine, belly part to the whole sardine that we're looking at. And we can slightly trim it. Okay, and I'll show you why we did that later. Now, what we do, you see all the smell and the blood in that area. That's what we're looking for. It's got a lot of the backbone as well in it. So that part is what I want to use as the base. So I'm going to take it like so. Okay, so that's the backbone part. As you can see, a lot of flesh exposed. I'm going to use that as my base. So I'm going to be tying the cotton around that area. Now what we want to do, because that's got all the blood and that in it, is just trim this down slightly. I'm just doing that. Leaving a little bit of the flesh on. Okay, so you can see there's my base of my bait that I'm going to be working with. Okay, cotton. And the sardine is slightly frozen as well. So I'm putting quite a lot of cotton on it that when it starts defrosting properly, it'll start, the cotton will contract over the hook and around the actual backbone, pushing out a lot of the blood and the smell. Okay, get there. Just go through, around, and through. Through, around, through. Okay. So there's that part of it, which is my base part of my sardine bait for the Blu-ray. I'm then going to take my stomach part, cut it down the center. Just give it a little bit of an insert there with your knife. Swing it around. Another insert there. Now, take the thick side of your chocker hammer and you start softening the bait up a bit. What you're doing is you're breaking up the actual sardine, allowing a lot of the blood, the smell of the stomach to actually go into the actual flesh. It's becoming very soft, smelly. 
Now what we do is we take it and we wrap it around our base. So that's going to go around there like that. Grab my cotton. And we just start tying it down. Come on. There we go. So that's basically what's happening now. I'm going to take a thin slither of sardine for the back part. I'm just going to cut that out. Again. Take our sardine if you just want to make it a little bit bigger. Take that. And we're adding it to the back. So again, it's just protecting the backbone, making the bait bigger, mushier, smellier, allowing as much blood and smell to come out as possible. Unfortunately, it does attract a lot of peckers. And it is a very slippery bait. Yeah, cotton came off. And there, excuse me is pretty much my whole bait ready to go. And that will be the bait that I throw for Blu-rays. Big, smelly, mushy bait. You can make it rounder if you want, but that there has caught me plenty Blu-rays after sardine season. Of course the sinker's gonna hit, sinker's gonna come loose, and that's gonna sit on the ground like that. The Blu-ray is going to come in and inhale it. And that's it. Simple bait for catching Blu-rays.